Hey, in uh, this video, I want to show you how to change a few things on line item type screens. For example, how to show and hide columns and change the font size and so on. So as an example, I'm going to be using the purchase order um, inventory items tab. So right now I'm just picking an example here in this company. Okay, so here we are. This is a line item type screen. You see, we've got a bunch of different columns here. This column doesn't seem to have much in it. Imagine we wanted to get rid of it so that it's just not showing right now. To do that, we can go up here to the upper left of the screen and click on this hash mark grid sort of button. That pops up the select columns screen, which shows all the columns that are and are not showing right now. Then we can uncheck the checkbox for line item notes, click save, and there you go. The column is no longer displayed. We can also use the same screen to change the name of a column. So for example, here let's type, instead of description there, let's have it say the description. Make sure to click save. There you go. The change is now reflected on our screen. Another thing we could do is change the font size. These two arrow buttons will decrease and increase the font size however we would like. This can help, for example, with readability in certain contexts. We can also move columns around. For example, let's take this received column. To move a column, you have to click on it to select it, then click on the name again and slide, dragging the column to wherever you want it, like so. See, so click on the name and then click again and drag. You'll see that bar, the black vertical bar, was showing where the column will end up. The last thing I'm going to show you is how to resize rows and columns. To do that, you want to move the mouse cursor to a place where it changes into a double headed arrow with a line in between the arrows. So that is always going to be for columns between two columns at that vertical bar and for rows all the way on the left there between two rows in that blank spot. And you can use this feature to make your rows and columns whatever size you would like. 